Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful Empowered Harmonizers. We are zooming in and focusing in on a great viewer question, and that is Peace and Harmony, what are some strategies or advice for dealing with a female psychopath? Someone who is literally out to ruin your life. And they kind of were um, talking about a previous video where we sort of describe the female psychopath and he's looking for strategies for how to deal, how to cope. Um, and essentially, I would say uh, how to, I would say maybe get back. Um, one moment. I'm just going to kind of go back to the question because I think it's, a, uh, I think he's thinking, you know, how do I outsmart a female psychopath? So when we talk about outsmarting a female psychopath, which I think is his question, you have to know really what you're dealing with first. So hence we have a lot of videos on, on describing it. But if you really want to outsmart a female psychopath, you have to understand a couple things. Um, namely that you are never going to have a, a communication or a discourse with this person that is normal or natural or authentic. Uh, there is an incapability, I would say, on the, on the side of the female psychopath. So you, um, and, and sort of a, a, a warm or temperate um, connection, meaning one derived by empathy or true validity. So to outsmart this, you must um, realize that you, you cannot um, sort of placate them and, you know, um, interact authentically. So really you have to protect yourself and remove yourself from that energetic attachment and get into a completely separate space where really I would say, and I, I discussed this previously, where there's a sense of complete indifference and neutrality and staying away from any sort of judgment or validation of um, any sort of binomial or sort of binary yes or no, good or bad, hot or cold, tall or short, keeping away from any descriptors. Because a female psychopath, they do not have the same emotional interpretation or connection with words. And this is reflected in their speech. They, they won't have sort of connector words. They will use words that will, instead of being in the present, they're, they're speaking from a need to come off as if. So they're always sort of creating a mask while they're in a relationship. So there is, so you have to realize, number one, in order to outsmart a female psychopath, if you, if you just come from within is that complete neutrality and realize there is no winning with a female psychopath. If you think you're going to win um, you know, get that out of your mind. If you win, you you really win within. So that is the first conquering. The female psychopath will do everything to throw you under the bus, uh, make you appear as if you are the bad. This is a real problem, and it results in a lot of distorted reality and a lot of people sort of succumbing to this and sort of being convinced that they are the bad person. This is known as gaslighting and brainwashing. So number one, you have to realize there are tools of defense and the insidious effect it has on you personally. So claiming that and knowing that to be the case, you then need to have a complete body, mind, spirit uh, separation from this person. Um, realizing that there really has to be, as you declare it and see it, no energetic connection capable. So this is really envisioning your energetic field and your etheric field as it extends eight or nine um, feet out from you and realizing you own this space. And to create this in sort of a cool or calm and realizing that the tools that you have 
are yours for the protection. And like Joe Rogan says in a, uh, a recent video podcast, he talks about the jealousy of the chimp. So if you are, realize that a female psychopath is seething really in jealousy, they, they want something. There's something that they want. It's usually power and control, whatever that means. What, however, power or control. Is there something that they want? And they will usually need, you know, to move you around like a chess piece. So don't be movable. Don't be shakable. Don't be, you know, don't have any strings attached to this person. As much as you might like to, deep, I would say, is part of the brainwashing and gaslighting. Is an addictive need really to be liked or accepted or embraced by this abuser. That becomes part of the problem is that deep inside people secretly want to be able to win or be a winner with this person and have everything work out in air quotes, so to speak. So you have to really get to the bottom and um, root out that dream. If you have any sort of dream that you are fanning the flames of, usually subconsciously where it's not within your awareness. So usually part of you at your very core will really, part of the addiction of the female psychopath is that even despite much evidence to the contrary, there's a desire to be liked, loved, given attention by this person, because usually there's this sort of harem or, you know, um, posse of people who they will have sort of dragged up like, uh, you know, like a, a broom and dust that they sort of will sweep up in their wake that are their flying monkeys, that are their pawns, that are their movable pieces, just like you see on a pawn, I mean, on a uh, chess game, just like there's pawns, there's um, horses, there's king and queen, um, this, this person will move everybody in the environment according to getting the win, which is usually conquering something, getting something, obtaining something, owning something, uh, being receiving of something of monetary personal uh, gain. There's always this sort of parasitic nature and there's a win or a lose in the balance. So this person is always combative when it really gets down to the people who they target and they're sort of trying to make you fall and disown the game. In other words, you know, throw down your king piece and resign. Um, do not do this. Um, realize that if you become a counterforce to their force, you will then put on a fake or false set of airs. I, I would not recommend doing that. I would, I would recommend really not only steering away, but you know, when you, when you are outsmarting a female psychopath, if you want to feed them, um, uh, negative, uh, not negative, but empty, vacuous um, information just the way that they do to you, then, you know, in other words, um, you know, are we going to work on this plan? Oh, yeah, for sure. And you just sort of say something, but you don't mean it. This is oftentimes very contrary to people with a heart. So that is usually you have to undo the addiction and the need to uh, have things turn around with this person. Things are going to turn around within you. It is not with this person. But the problem is people, I would say, continue to rehash and reprocess this relationship for some time. So really, you know, put an idea of how long you want that rehashing to take and to the degree that it's going to apply to your healthier and confidence building behavior. So exiting from this person um, emphatically, a hundred percent, you know, in other words, no longer viewing them through the eyes of compassion, empathy, heart, uh, desire for understanding all these different natural organic sort of processes that will come up and bubble up, uh, to the system naturally, because you're a warm human being realize, you know, you're dealing with someone who, who does not have a warm blooded, they're more cold blooded, like you might consider an alligator or a fish. They just uh, don't have that. A psychopath 
will um, unerringly tell you that this is they are cold. Uh, they have ice water running through the veins. Even you know a female. So you oftentimes the your your the images that you hold within your mind need to be rearranged. So if you're you know viewing them as this you know stuffed animal, you know this is actually um, not a stuffed animal. This is an electric fence. This is a a wire. Uh, this is a wire contraption that you are trying to embrace. This is not a teddy bear. This is a set of um, impulses and crossing of wires that are designed to render you helpless and hopeless and apathetic and feeling that I can't. And so really, I would say really one of the emerging tools from a female psychopath not only is to understand the change that you need to undertake um, energetically in your body, in your mind, um, and all the other sort of um, ways we talk about dis, you know, uh, the, the resensitization, but realize that you can't continue to consume these people and feed your subconscious, the limbic brain, where they really sort of get in and own you, um, you know, is in that limbic brain, that um, reptilian brain, that sort of impulses, they're sort of dark impulses. If you feel uh, strengthened um, by your dark impulses, um, think again. This is how the female psychopath wants to sort of you know, draw you in. Um, so you have to really understand the levels of magnetics that are, are oftentimes circulating and run very deep. So in outsmarting this, of course, we talked about you do not give eye contact. You do not hold your body in playing with this person. Um, you, you do not uh, uh, respond in, in like energy that is your own. If you want to say something that is uh, pacifying to them and then move uh, accordingly or do the pattern interrupt. Watch my videos about that. Uh, namely, I would realize that this person will is part of their jealousy um, and part of their seething anger. These people are oftentimes very angry when they want something. So if you are viewed as an obstacle, <laughs> they're going to be very angry with you. If you're at all in the way or they perceive you to be in the way this will make them very angry because you are perceived as an obstacle as an object not as a person so you have to sort of understand the depth of what this translates to you when you're really truly dealing with a female psychopath like this person said someone who literally has no qualms no remorse no guilt no regret about <clears throat> Uh, ruining you. And this is to be the case. This is not to be uh, confused or laughed about. <clears throat> so realize that the it is important to outsmart them is to realize the cause that creates this effect. I would say and to namely mean that there is something that this person wants that they feel entitled to that they don't have to go through the regular channels to get that they feel okay with violating certain societal or uh, workplace or family system norms, violations of, of boundaries and standards to get what they want. In other words, the rule breakers, this is okay to disrespect. It's okay for me to override this. It's okay. It's okay. And then they just keep going and they do not look back. So you might oftentimes feel that you're nothing but looking at the back of their head. Realize that the female psychopath, I would say namely what makes it them very dangerous, is this real sort of, uh, um, you know, um, energetic uh, vampirism, which means that they, because of this jealousy, because of this insatiable need, uh, you might call it emotional or spiritual greediness, literal um, um, financial or fiscal greediness, um, also can be woven into this depending this person might just be greedy for attention, admiration, uh, you know, uh, fanning their flames, talking about how good they are, uh, just giving them attention and ad admiration, ooh and ah, just the paralyzing uh, gaze, uh, giving into them, uh, being glued to them, transfixed, 
sort of mesmerized the way a female psychopath will see to, uh, I would say uh, that's part of their sort of the paralyzing of their prey, but realize that part of that is like, like Joe Rogan was saying, like with a chimp, they really will look to destroy that with which you use to live and to get ahead. So like, as he was saying, a chimp, if, if, you were to have it, and I, I see a very strong parallel here because it's part of that sort of limbic, animalistic brain, uh, that sort of uh, midbrain that a chimp, I would say, shares with the human being, the homo sapien, as part of the older parts of our, our evolution, which is still part of what is the composite of you. They will, as part of this, survival mechanism as as their prey so if you were to have a a chimp as a pet and you were to give something to another person this or another chimp this person or the you know this chimp would be very jealous and then they would then attack you even though if they had all sorts of you know positive experiences with you previously all of a sudden they will um explode and pounce out of this rage and then they will attack the human being or the person who's running wherever in captivity where they are and they've developed this relationship and they will go for those appendages which you need to survive so they already know on an instinctual and um, pre-programmed basis that man needs his thumb man needs his fingers man needs his eyes his ears and so these are the very objects that the chimp will then uh, bite on and rip off and then scratch off, but leave you sort of um, alive. But, you know, um, rip off your fingers, try to scratch out your eyes, try to bite off, you know, your ears or those things that they know that you need. And sort of this is what the female psychopath does. And then they will take off and try to remove or destroy the very things that you need to do to grip a coffee cup, to uh, dial a phone, to be able to walk across the floor, to be able to purchase your groceries. So all the, you know, so realize that this is my feeling that they will go for those. So realize and do a self assessment and, um, you know, outsmart them. Know that you are, are still have connection and control of this. And then if you then act as if you are, without senses and senseless, you know, then you're really just still allowing them to drive you for the ride. You really just need to detach. <clears throat> if you need, I'm not here to diagnose or treat or provide legal advice or tax advice, but you might need to move your job. You might need to get the divorce. You might need to require legal assistance. You might need to uh, begin gaining counsel. Uh, you might need to write things down. You might need to do these different things to um, get a, a sense of what is happening. So if you need uh, re recompensation or recuperation you and you have legal means to do that, you know, realize it, what is worth it to you or are you just going to cut your losses and move on? Realize that you really don't want this toxic individual in your life. Even though you might want this to be uh, better, um, realizing the reality of what is so and stop disowning what has happened. Stop um, forgiving and forgetting. Um, stop, you know, because it just uh, opens you up to greater abuse. So really the greatest thing to do is just to unfortunately um, let this relationship go just let it go and you cannot you have to emerge even if you might experience the feelings of post-traumatic stress syndrome which i feel is a, a large problem then you have to work on strengthening that but uh what you also have to do is stop being rewarded um for what you feel is the win oftentimes you are not going to be rewarded by this. Your rewards are going to come from within. And so if the female psychopath still thinks that you're on the chase, then let them go. Let them just carry on with their own uh, fantastical type of envisioning 
and illusion and feeling that they're just living in some sort of movie or fairy tale. And then just don't be swept up with it. Don't get caught under the broom. Don't be swept away. Don't lose perspective, your stance, your values, or most certainly, you know, your identity, especially as it relates to your subconscious or your unconscious, because that's where they really get in. And you, the dangerous part is that you don't know that their effect has affected you there. So you really have to take it serious and exit. This is your buddy, Peace and Harmony with you here today. And I hope that these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe, and for goodness sake, please donate for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Have a beautiful day.